strange yet bizarre discovery has been found at the location of 500 Welch Boulevard in Flint, Michigan. Three 30-foot long quilts have been found covering the front of the former Cook Elementary School, aka Cook Academy. These quilts date back to 2015 according to Google Maps Street View imagery. The, the quilts were placed on the rooftop, extending all the way down to ground level. A portion of these quilts covers some basement windows. Is that not the weirdest thing you've seen in Flint? Flint is the only city I have ever seen that would cover an entire school building with a quilt. So whoever it was wasted perfectly good clothing material covering an entire school. That's illogical. That would have never flown down here in Texas. That would never fly down here in Texas. Someone must be into knitting. This is one of the many bizarre things you would never expect to see when browsing on Street View using Google Maps. This is absolutely hilarious, wasteful, and staggering all at the same time. How is it that Flint is able to cover an entire school building with three quilts but cannot provide clean water for their citizens? There are many questions people will ask about this situation. Why would something like this happen? Why would someone cover a school building with a quilt? Why cover the school with it? Who would cover almost an entire school with quilts that big? Who would have come up with this idea or concept? What does this all mean? How is this even possible? So many questions that have yet to be answered. Some say the heating at Cook School hasn't worked in decades back when it was a functioning school. Others say people who are bored out of their minds do something strange like this. Some residents say it's the lead in the water supply that makes people do questionable things such as this. However, there has been more information discovered after digging through extensive research on the internet. Some facts were found, and evidence was uncovered. After extensive research, I eventually ended up on Instagram, and I talked to a man named Steven Zacks. He explained to me why there were quilts being hung off of Cook School from the roof. Flint Public Arts decided to hang three quilts off of the old Cook School as an attempt of urban revitalization and urban renewal. That's why they hung those three quilts. Take the time to read the comics from our exchange that me and Stephen Zacks had. The person behind this bizarre discovery was none other than Amanda Browder. Amanda Browder is the person responsible for sewing all three 30-foot quilts together. Sewing all three quilts together took Amanda Browder three weeks. She came up with this idea to hang quilts on an abandoned school building. Apparently, Flint Public Arts is responsible for hanging those three quilts. A hydraulic crane was used to hang all three quilts, which hung for at the rooftop near a front entrance of Cook School. Flint Public Arts was responsible for the wooden installation at Cook School. As you see here in this picture, that a cherry picker is being used to hang one of the three quilts off the rooftop of the old Cook School. Here is what the front entrance of Cook School looked like in August 2015. Those three quilts hanging from the rooftop of Cook School were part of the Flint Public Arts Parade of 2015. The three quilts were hung on the rooftop of Cook School on August 27, 2015. Flint Public Arts even held a parade for the event on August 31, 2015. Flint Public Arts Parade probably lasted around three to four days at tops. By somewhere around January or April 2019 is when the quilts were taken down. There has been no sign of these quilts being hung back up so far. As you see from this aerial image from Google Satellites, the quilts have since been taken off of Cook School. That uncovers the mystery of how the quilts got on top of Cook School in Flint, Michigan.
Thanks for watching this video.